It's not something you see every day, but it is important to the drainage systems you use every day around your home. Today we're going to explain why seeing smoke coming from some of the pipes and vents around your home may actually be a good thing. Smoke testing is one of the most cost-effective ways to identify defects in our sewer collection system. And this is what it looks like. The city uses high-powered blowers to pump smoke into a manhole. And if all goes well, the smoke emerges from pipes downstream. You can see it in the background here. It'll also emerge from vents on your rooftop. Why does the city need to perform smoke testing? Smoke testing is a way to find sections of our sewer collection facility that are essentially deficient, where we have cracks in the pipes or cross connections that are allowing rainwater and groundwater into the system. What this does is it leads to uh, increased operating costs, increased treatment costs, deficiencies, uh, further, further complicates deficiencies in the pipe and can lead to sanitary sewer overflows and decrease the operational efficiency at our treatment plants. Periodically, the city conducts comprehensive testing of its sewer infrastructure. So don't be alarmed if you see our water sewer department staff in your neighborhood. We'll stop by before smoke testing, going door to door, talking to residents about what to expect. And if you're not home, we will leave this door hanger letting you know when we're coming back to do the test. You do not need to be home during smoke testing. So as the city starts a smoke testing program this year, you'll see our smoke testing crews come into your neighborhood. And what we'll do is we'll come out about a week ahead of the smoke testing and we'll hand out a notice of upcoming testing. We'll hang one of those on everybody's front door that gives you the dates we're gonna be testing as well as a little information, some frequently asked questions about the program. About a week after they give the notices, the crews will actually show up to perform the testing. And when they come to your neighborhood, they'll basically be going from manhole to manhole out in the street or maybe in the yards and introducing smoke into the sewer system. Now the smoke they're introducing into the sewer system is odorless, it's, it's non-staining, it's non-hazardous, there's no health hazards or concerns with the smoke. It's simply, it's a specially designed smoke that's simply designed for locating purposes. They'll be using forced air equipment to push that smoke through the sewer systems and out through the appropriate vents. And appropriate vents are vents we have strategically placed in the sewer system, as well as the plumbing vents on top of your house. The smoke is not harmful to you, your pets, or to houseplants. If you notice smoke coming from an interior drain, it isn't likely there's a problem, but you might want to raise a window to help with the ventilation. A few things to note as a resident when you see the smoke testing crews come through. Uh, if you're seeing smoke come out of the roof fence of the house, that is typically very normal. That means that the smoke is going through the proper ventilation in the plumbing system and is exiting through the roof fence on top of your house. That's nothing to be concerned about. If you have smoke come out from inside your house, no need to be immediately alarmed. That typically means you've got a plumbing drain, a P-trap, something of that nature inside the home that is just dried up and doesn't have the water it needs to keep the, the gases back and ultimately the smoke back as well. The best thing to do if that happens while you're at home, if you notice the smoke in your house and notice the smoke testing crews in the area, um, walk outside and notify one, one of the gentlemen with the smoke testing crew. They'd be more than happy to take a look at it and help you identify what, you know, what the issue is in the home. This low impact testing goes a long way toward identifying leaks or defects in our system, which can help us avoid increased volume to the system that can overburden it or cause sanitary sewer overflows. When the plant is overburdened, it runs for extended periods of time, and that increases pump cost and the electric costs to run it. That prolonged stress can also lead to failures and a lot more man hours to fix any repairs that might be needed. It also decreases the longevity of our system. Once you receive the notice of upcoming testing, there's a few things you as a homeowner can do to prepare for the, the upcoming testing. Uh, first, make sure all of the drained, all the drain traps in the plumbing in your home have water in. This is a very simple thing to do. Go around and any sink that you have that you may not have used in a while, such as a laundry sink, just some, run some water down the drain. A couple minutes is sufficient and what that do, what that'll do is put water in that P-trap and prevent the smoke from coming back up in the house. Other thing to do is if you have respiratory problems or any other concerns or possible questions, please feel free to contact us at 252-639 seven five four two and just let them know you have a question about the upcoming smoke testing and we'll be we'll make sure we get somebody out there that can discuss your question or concerns with you and make sure we take whatever precautionary measures are needed for your particular circumstance from start to finish smoke testing should only last about 15 minutes 
If at any time you're concerned that the smoke coming from your home may be the result of a fire, dial 911 immediately. And if you have questions or concerns about smoke testing, call our Department of Public Utilities Water Resources Division at area code 252-639-7542.